so much to be thankful for in that one story, her health, her life, but just think of all the medical advances that were able to get her to that point in that story. So many things that she has to be thankful for. Certainly fascinating, and we're thankful for the rain today. With the Indeed. Uh, that's been a big story, of course, of the last several weeks and months, and uh, unfortunately, it's happening on Thanksgiving. Yeah, poor timing. We'll poor certainly timing. take it, uh, you know, better than, I guess, yesterday, because I'm sure a lot of people traveled yesterday to get yes. to their destinations. So for today, rain likely, uh, steady, heavy at times, and also very chilly. Temperatures only staying in the 40s. So here's the radar. You can see uh, the white and the blue represents the snow. That pink that you see there, that's the wintry mix of so the sleet and freezing rain. And then, of course, the green is just plain rain. And that's the side of the storm that we're going to be on. With the lack of cold air making its way into southeastern New England. We're looking at plain cold rain for today. It's not here quite yet, looking at just some sprinkles out there this morning, but rain showers developed by about 7, 8 o'clock this morning, and then they'll continue to be more steadier rains uh, for the middle part of the day. So here's Providence seeing good visibility, but it's chilly out there. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s across the board. 45 in Newport, 37 in the capital city, 42 in New Bedford, 36 up in Taunton. The winds out of the uh, east right now bringing that some of that cooler uh, air for today. Three key things, rainy for today, chilly as well. The better weather, though, does arrive tomorrow. It'll still be chilly, but it'll be brighter with sunshine expected for any of you shopping out there for your Black Friday. Also looking at a uh, colder stretch across the weekend for both Saturday and Sunday. And really for the foreseeable future, we're actually settling into a much colder pattern as we go forward in time. So winter certainly be felt across our area. Here's the wide view storm system to the south and west. This is going to be tracking right along us, and we're going to be looking at the low pressure traveling overhead later on today, which is why we're on that kind of a, you know, I'll call it the milder side of the storm, but of course, temperatures in the 40s, not that mild, but we're not looking at any wintry weather here uh, thanks to uh, the, the track of the storm. If it were a little bit further south, perhaps you could have drawn down some more colder air and given us a different story, but the story for today is rain, chilly temperatures, and looking about a half an inch of rain, uh, if not more, uh, across most of the area. So let's time it out. We're going to jump to here's 9 a.m. Seeing again rain by then already overspreading the area. I'm thinking by about 7, 8 o'clock we'll see the rain develop. It continues all day long. The yellows, oranges indicate some of the heavier bands tracking on through those uh, east, southeast winds, giving us some of the cooler air in place. Notice the wintry brother is actually across the northern tier of uh, you know uh, New England and also upstate New York. So it's staying away from us. We're looking at just plain cold rain for today. It wraps out and, and exits. Uh, as we go into the evening hours, and then we dry things out overnight and into our Friday. Heading out early Friday morning for any shopping, seeing the winds change direction. Northwest wind bringing in some drier, colder air. Sunshine expected. One note about Friday morning's forecast. Watch out for some patchy black ice because we're going to have all the rainfall, the wet roadways late tonight. They may not quite dry uh, quick enough overnight into Friday morning. So just be mindful of that if you're heading out early in the morning. Otherwise, weather looks just fine uh, looking at Chilly temperatures taking us all the way into Saturday and even Sunday as well as that colder pattern settles on in. How much rainfall are we talking? Generally, our guidance has been uh, showing about a half an inch of rain, if not more. This one looks, this latest run looks to be a little bit uh, below that, but I do still feel uh, confident that we'll be looking at about a half an inch of rain to maybe even an inch of rain expected uh, across the region when all is said and done. Uh, some locations may see more than that when those heavier bands track through. Thanksgiving's forecast, again, light rain begins, steady rain continues pretty much all day long. Wraps up about 5, 6 o'clock this evening. Tonight's forecast, clearing things out, staying chilly back into the 30s all the way into tomorrow morning. And again, watch out for some patchy black ice. Otherwise, looking at good weather, sunshine, temperatures topping out in the 40s across the board for uh, our Friday. Now, locally, traveling on the roadways, again, seeing the... Uh, Worst of the weather, I'd say, be today. Maybe some early black ice uh, for Black Friday. Staying chilly, though, temperatures uh, in the 40s with sunshine both Friday and Saturday. Seven-day forecast for you. Again, the winter's here. It's arriving for the next several days. Temperature trending uh, downward each day, and you can see the 30s arrive on Sunday, and they stick around for next week. Colder, drier, sunny, maybe even some flurries perhaps by the middle part of next week. So that winter pattern certainly here. Overnight lows, look at that, in the low to mid-20s. And that full seven-day forecast, of course, can be found on our website at WPRI.com. All right, Steve, I'm going to be a nice